important for Dassault and for Europe because it's really a project to prepare the future in the field of uh, fighters. We already have in France the Rafale. The Rafale is fully operational and will be fully operational for the next 30 years. But we need to prepare the next generation. Dassault Aviation and Airbus may reach an agreement on the next phase of the development of the future European FCAS fighter. Dassault Aviation CEO Garrett Trappier gave an interview published today by the newspaper Le Figaro, in which he reports that they have reached an industry agreement with Airbus for the next generation fighter, MGF, a critical component of FCAS. FCAS is a political project launched by President Emmanuel Macron and Chancellor Angela Merkel in 2017 and has been at a standstill since the summer of 2021 after a year of disputes over the division of workload between industrial partners and especially over the protection of intellectual property rights finally Eric Trappier can informed President Emmanuel Macron and Sebastian Lecornu Minister of the Armed Forces that an industrial agreement had been made achieved with Airbus both Airbus and Indra announced on 18 November that discussions between the governments of Germany, Spain and France and their respective aerospace industries about the next phase of the FCAS program have been successfully concluded and only a series of formal steps had to be taken beforehand. Contracts can be signed to start phase 1B development. However, there was nothing but silence from the French. A few days later, on November 21, Eurek Trappier gave an interview in which he dismissed the optimistic statements issued by the Spanish and German companies. The CEO of Dassault warning that the deal had not been fully finalized and nothing had been signed between Dassault and Airbus. Over the course of the year, there was an exchange of accusations between, mainly, Germany's Airbus and Dassault Aviation about which sector was preferred in the distribution of responsibility for the various pillars of Europe's next-generation air combat system development. From Dassault, they argued that due to their capacity and experience as a manufacturer of historic combat aircraft for the French Armed Forces, they should lead the pillars of the development of future sixth-generation fighter flight demonstrations. And Airbus D and SSAU together with Airbus D and SGUM will be in second place as the main partner. From Germany, the criticism was harsh. On the one hand, in terms of workload, the German aerospace industry alleged that the agreement reached France too favorably to the detriment of its own interests. On the other hand, it is argued that in the end, Germany will subsidize French aerospace development since the demonstrator pillar of the future sixth generation fighter is the most technologically advanced of all. At the political level, decisions have been made, whether in France, Germany or Spain, the dispute is at the corporate level but it seems the problem was resolved to DeSalt's satisfaction. We can now move on to the next study phase, known as 1B, to prepare for the development of the demonstrator, which will fly around 2029. We have been confirmed in our role as prime contractor and aircraft architect, and we have secured protection for the industry's know-how and technology. We, being the architect of a new fighter aircraft, is very motivating for our company, our team, Airbus, our main partner, Indra, and our longtime partners, Safran, Talos, and MBDA. Not to mention our ecosystem of subcontractors in all three countries who will be part of the adventure. Not to mention all the young people we will recruit to work with the experience who are involved in the Rafale adventure, said enthusiastic Eric Trappier. It is now waiting for the formal signing of the contract so that the race to design a successor air combat system to the Eurofighter and Rafale can continue.